Hello vlog friends! So today my Saturday morning project is repainting my old roommate's room. Um, the walls kind of got dirty and I felt like it really was not very good for potential roommates to come in here and look at the room and be like, wow, that's really gross. I don't want to live here. An update on the great roommate search of 2012. It is not going well. The first person I interviewed she was really nice, so she was a, little, a couple years older than me, and I guess she was going she was gonna be going through a divorce. Uh, she ended up backing out on me about a week later. I guess she's going back to her husband or something. She didn't say what was And then the next person I interviewed, she ended up being 40 with an 11 year old she got every other weekend. And she's a recovering alcoholic and was going back to school to get her degree in counseling, which is good for her. Um, she was really, really nice, but I just felt like, I don't know, I just felt like it wouldn't be a really good situation. That was a no. The next person I was gonna interview, um, it took me a really long time to be able to finally find a time and date to meet up with her. Apparently, she worked really crazy hours and when we finally found a time to meet together, she ended up backing out because her mom for her birthday gave her an apartment and is paying her first three months rent. I'm all for moms being supportive. My mom was really supportive and still is when I'm having issues. Um, and when I first started out living by myself, you know, like she helped me out a lot. But she did not pay my first three months rent. And I'm just kind of like, you know, if you're old enough to be able to have your own apartment, pay your rent on your own. I also learned that through Craigslist, you can get a lot of scams. You get a lot of the, I live out of the country, so I have to give you my uh, check by money order. No. Those are scams, so don't respond to those. I've had a few guys inquire about the room. And morally, I really don't have an issue as long as, like, you know, if you're just friends, you know, I have tons of guy friends. And they actually would make really good roommates. But with my job, that's really a no-no, which totally makes sense. I to totally support that. And also, if it's a guy you don't know, who knows what their motives are. They may just be wanting a hookup. I did have one guy, it was his mother, who emailed me about the apartment. And it's just like, um... If your son needs a place, he should look for one by himself, not his mom. I have, I do have one friend who might be moving back to the area, so that's a slight possibility. Okay, so here are the cons of having to get a moving. One, moving is just a really big pain. Two, you have to pack everything. And you realize how much crap you have. And you have to pack it all up into boxes and you have to find boxes. This is number three. You have to find boxes. And I recently threw all my boxes away. Because I was like, oh, I won't be moving anytime soon. I'll just get rid of all these cardboard boxes. Right. So there's that. Or four. Yeah, four. You have to unpack when you get back. And this is like, again, the reminder, why do I have all this crap? And then you have to find a new place for all of it, and storing, and organization, and all of that stuff. Reason number five, finding a new place is just a hassle because then you have to look at apartments. And you have to see, is this a good neighborhood? Am I going to get along with the landlord? Am I going to get along with the neighbors? Is this a safe neighborhood? And it's just like, ugh. Reason number six, I really like my apartment. Like, it's spacious, it's on a first floor, it's pet friendly. Someone from my church owns the complex, which is always a plus. Two bedrooms, two baths, like this is a really, really nice apartment. Reasons why I should get a new place. Reason number one, it would be a lot more affordable. Reason number two, I really don't need this much space to myself. Like, it's just me and my dog, and I really, like, I have a lot of crap, but I don't have enough crap to, like, 
fill up a whole other bedroom. Four or three. Why I can move. Let me go move. And actually, sometimes as annoying as unpacking is, it could be really nice to unpack because you can reorganize everything, figure out what you need, what you really don't need, and just kind of like start fresh, which is always kind of fun. Reason number five why it would be good for me to move. I actually have one of my congregation members. They live in my complex. They live it means whenever I go home, I have to put the church worker hat on, which is really annoying because when you go home, you don't want to have to wear the church worker hat. All right, so the room is all painted. I'm all cleaned up because painting is really, really messy, in case you didn't know. Um, I got paint splatter on my laptop, which is something that you'd think I would think of, but I didn't, so I'm going to have to find a way to clean that up. But anyway, I'm going to go grab some lunch and probably hang out at Starbucks, get some wedding done, because I haven't done that in a really long time. But there's my roommate situation slash updates. And I'm really just torn about what to do. Should I stay or should I go? Um, I know I probably shouldn't be asking the internet advice on things on my life, but I'm a blogger and that's what we do. We ask the internet for advice. So let me know. What would you do? Would you stay in the apartment or would you move? Have a great day.